Sir Adi Adimola, a leading Nigerian lawyer who put forward the Africans' case that Rhodesia was here under false pretenses that they didn't have British passports, sat in on the meetings. The full International Olympic Committee, 74 countries, spent three hours this evening disagreeing on the Rhodesians' nationality. Eventually, they agreed to consult the British government. The British government, so far as we know, claims that they do not recognize the secession, they do not recognize the Rhodesian government. They claim they are still a colony. If this is the case, the inhabitants of Rhodesia are entitled to British passports. Uh, we have to establish from an authorized representative of the British government whether this is their position at this time. If, if it is not their position, of course, it will affect the negotiations which are underway. If they are British subjects, Mr. Brundage, does that mean that Rhodesia definitely stays in the Olympics? means that Rhodesia has complied with its agreement. Well, how would you feel then, Mr. Rundage, if the African countries withdrew, carried out their threat to leave? Well, that's a question for the assembly to decide. We ordinarily don't like people who don't keep their agreements. Would you be prepared, though, to keep Rhodesia in, even if the, the black African countries did withdraw? That's a question I can't answer. That'll have to be answered by the session. Rhodesia's two top officials in Munich were called to the meeting, but then not invited to take part in the discussions. They maintain that the 40 whites in the party have British passports at home, but don't know about the seven Africans. Mr. Plaskett, do you know at the moment whether you're still in the Olympic Games? Well, we were called to the meeting, but we haven't been in the meeting, so we have no any further comment. There's nothing more we can say about it seems to hinge on whether you regard yourselves as British citizens, do you? Well, we don't know. We're British subjects. You classify yourself as a British subject, do you? We do. Also seems to hinge on whether you came here with a British passport, did you? We came with identity cards issued to us. That's all we used. We had no passports at all. Mr. Plaskett, 